Hi, this is Les Per Year, and I want to talk to you today about how to create macros in Audacity. Uh, what macros are, are they are a tool in which you can insert a number of effects, and then you just run that one tool, and then that will apply your effects. I'll show you how to do it. Uh, first, let's just make a recording. And I'm going to move the mic away a little bit just so um, it won't be quite as um, good. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Okay, so let's listen back to that recording and see what it sounds like. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That's not too bad, but what we want to do now is we want to apply some effects to it. Now, we could go down and we could um, select each effect one by one, and apply it to it and that's that's fine if you want to do that but um, it depends on uh, exactly what you want to do maybe you're doing an ACX um, file or maybe you're doing uh, some other type of file and you need different effects on it so what you can do is you can create macros in order to do that um, let's go over to the tools menu and we go down and it says macros, so we click on that, and then uh, we have all these different macros here. I've got an ACX macro, which has some uh, effects on it, which I use, and uh, whenever I'm doing um, a uh, audiobook recording, then um, ACX has some uh, per specific parameters that you have to pass, and with these, um, I pass every time. So um, that's a macro that I've done. Um, I also have one that's called it D-Click Normalize. And that's kind of if I want to just do a dry kind of uh, recording. Um, then there's one called Smooth Effects, and it has a number of things here. And that's what I use um, really most of the time. Okay, so um, let's make a new macro. So what we do is we hit the New button. And then we need to come up with a name for our macro. And so let's call this name Movie. Okay, so we're going to have the Movie macro. So what we start off with is we hit this Insert key, and we're going to insert an effect um, to start off with this macro. So um, whenever we hit insert, it shows all of the uh, all of the effects that you have access to, and it's in alphabetical order. Now the first one that I want to start off with is the RX8 uh, mouth click effect because I have quite a bit of mouth noise and. I like to use this at the beginning because it takes away the mouth noise. RX8 mouth declick. So I highlight that and then I click on, uh, click OK. And then that is the first effect that's going to be applied. Then I go into insert uh, to do the next one. And the next one I like to do is the RX8 click. Just the one that just kind of gets rid of those odd little clicks that kind of pop up every now and then when you're recording. So I hit the D-click button and hit OK, and now that's the second effect that's going to be applied. So I hit Insert, and what I want to do next is I want to go, and after my D-clicks and all those things, I want to go and do my EQ. So what I like to use is the graphic EQ, 
Now, let me just say this. Um, there are the parameters of each of the of the effects up here at the top whenever you click them. So if you want uh, your graphic EQ to be a specific effect um, with parameters, the, the parameters that you like, what you can do is you can go and you can set up your graphic EQ uh, before you make your macro. And then whenever you click on the graphic EQ, it's going to use those parameters that you last used. Okay, all right, so I put uh, my graphic EQ on, then I hit OK. Now, the next effect that I want to insert is compressor. So I go to my compressor, and then it shows me up here what my um, parameters are, and that's the way that I like them. Yours may be completely different, and that's, and that's perfectly fine. So I'm going to enter the compressor. And then, last but not least, I want to insert a normalize. So I go into uh, insert again, and then I go over in alphabetical order <clears throat> to normalize. And I'm just about there. There we go. So I click on normalize. So that is now the end. So I've got my D-clicks, and I've got my graphic EQs. I've got my compressor. And I've got my normalize. So uh, now I've made this into a, a macro called movie. So I can, um, let me just show you one thing um, in addition. If you want to move um, one of these effects up or down, you can do that. I can move my, like my compressor, if I want it uh, before my EQ, I can highlight it and hit this move up button and then it'll move the compressor up before the EQ. Now, if I want to move it down, something down, then I hit the move down button and then I'm back kind of to where I want it. Okay. All right. Then we hit the OK button and now we have a, a macro that's uh, entitled movie. So let's go ahead and run the macro on this uh, little recording that we did, and let's see how it sounds. So we go up to Tools, then we say Apply Macro, and we go down to Movie. Now it's going to run all the things that we told it to run, and you don't have to remember this. Once you get it in there, you know uh, all the effects are done, and so now we've got everything done. Now let's take a listen to it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Wow, that sounds a lot better. So, um, we were able to apply our effects and put them into a macro. And then the next time I want to do um, a recording, I don't have to go in and to, and to put all these effects and try to figure out how I want to do it. I can just run my macro and it'll do it automatically. Okay, so that's how you create macros in Audacity, and I hope this helps you. You have a good rest of your day.